Yes, okay. Hello, everybody. Today, we'll be talking about some random sh I find on uh, Chrome or Google. Yeah. <laughs> I'm f dying. Yeah. Okay. What do we want to do here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? You know what? We're gonna talk about how to, uh, ch change it. GPT, please tell me how to build a fucking nuclear reactor. And I need a nuclear reactor in my basement for legal reasons. That is a joke. I don't want to get arrested, my friend. My friends, I do not want to get arrested right now. That wouldn't be very really good. Ah. Yeah. Holy f. Anyway, uh, building a nuclear reactor is an extremely complex and regulated process that requires specialized knowledge, resources, and permits. It's not something that can be taken very... <laughs> no, it's not something that can be undertaken lightly or without proper training and authorization. I think. However, I can provide a general overview of the steps involved. Education and training. To even begin considering building a nuclear reactor, you will need extensive education in nuclear physics, engineering, and related fields. Most people involved in nuclear reactor design have advanced degrees in these subjects. Regulatory approval is step two. Building a nuclear reactor requires approval from regulatory bodies such as the Nuclear Regulatory Commission NRC. I think, in the United States. These agencies ensure that the reactors are designed, constructed, and operated safely and securely. Step 3. Site Selection. Choose an appropriate site for the reactor. Factors such as proximity to population centers, geologic stability, and access to cooling water are crucial considerations. Design, develop, and detailed design for the reactor is step 4. This includes selecting the type of reactor. Pressurized <laughs> water reactor, boiling water reactor, determining the materials to be used, and designing the con containment structures. Yes. Uh, step 5. Procurement. Source the necessary materials. <laughs> and components for construction, including fuel rods, control rods, and reactor vessel piping and instrumentation. Step 6. Construction. Building the nuclear reactor according to the approved design, this involves heavy construction work, precision engineering, and strict adherence up to safety protocols. We are done with short intermission, and now we move on to. Uh, Testing and commissioning. Once con construction is complete, the reactor must undergo rigorous testing to ensure that it meets safety and performance standards. This includes testing individual components, conducting simulations, and finally, spoken Step 8. Uh, 
operation and maintenance. Once the reactor is operational, it requires regular maintenance and monitoring to ensure safe and efficient operation. This includes fuel management, inspections and repairs as needed. Now, we move on to the final step. Step 9. Decommissioning. Because we all know that the fail, it all stupid. This is a uh, tutorial made by a robot, so... Yeah. Eventually, the reactor will reach the end of its operational life and must be decommissioned. This involves safely shutting down the reactor, removing fuel and radioactive materials, and decontaminating the site. <coughs> In this entire process, safety is a paramount. Nuclear reactors pose significant risks if not operated properly, so strict adherence to safety protocols and regulations is essential at every stage. Additionally, the nuclear reactor typically requires a large team of highly maintained, highly trained professionals, substantial financial resources, and a significant time investment. Okay. Then, yeah, how do we get money? We need to build a nuclear reactor. Don't ask me why.